Hi there, my name is Richard Harvey and I'm very glad to be sharing with you this Hanukkah in your home celebration for Jewish disciples of Yeshua, of Jesus. Let me just explain that the first part of this recording is the instructions and the preparation and the materials that you use. And then the second part of the recording will be a, a roughly 17 minute presentation uh, which you can use in your church or in your home or wherever you are. And also watch this spot because I'm uploading this version on the 2nd of December, but there may well be an updated version with some more materials. So uh, if you have any questions to contact me and I'm gonna share my screen now and begin with the instructions. I'm so glad to be able to share this celebration with you. I grew up celebrating Hanukkah and it's always been one of my favorite festivals and uh, it's a bit like the Jewish equivalent of Christmas and so it's very appropriate that we are able to celebrate Hanukkah together and like any uh, celebration if you want to uh, celebrate properly you have to do a bit of preparation so uh, if you want to do this uh, celebration, please download this video and the PowerPoint slides uh, from the YouTube channel. It will be on Jews for Jesus UK YouTube channel and also on my Jew in the Pew YouTube channel. And what you need for this is a Hanukkah menorah, such as this one here, or nine candles uh, you can put them on a birthday cake or a christmas cake anything uh, which will allow them to burn uh, if you want to light one candle increasingly every day for the whole eight days you'll actually need a box of 44 hanukkah candles you can get these anywhere in a jewish area uh, or you can get them online at amazon or some other online provider, they cost about two or three pounds a box. It's not very expensive. You get a whole set of 44 candles. You can get them in uh, different colors or you can get them as they are like this. And uh, I would suggest that if you want to do it for just one day, you have all eight candles present and you light all eight candles, perhaps on the last day of Hanukkah. Or if you want to do it each day at a time, you light one candle on the first day, two on the second day, three on the third day, etc. You use the first candle, which I'll explain later, called the servant candle, you see, and that lights all the other eight days or eight candles. So the servant candle is an extra candle, the ninth candle, which has a special significance. You're also going to need some matches. Don't forget the matches or the lighter to light the menorah. And then the next item you're gonna need is donuts or mini donuts. I've got my mini donut pack here, but you can make your own donuts. I'm giving you the recipe in a few moments time. And also I would recommend that you make potato, can pa potato pancakes, latkes they're called. And there is a recipe for that. Very similar to rosti. If you're used to making rosties, you can buy do, your, do it yourself, latka packs or rosti packs in Sainsbury's or Tesco's, uh, or you can use the recipe which we've provided down below. And then especially for the children, you need chocolate money. I've got my gold chocolate money and my silver chocolate money. Uh, I like chocolate. And we're going to learn a game called Dreidel. Uh, and I give you the instructions for that. And uh, so you want to be able to gamble, but only with chocolate money. My trouble is I eat all the money uh, before I finish the game. So chocolate money. And then the dreidel is uh, like a dice. And I'll go through that in a moment uh, and give you the instructions. Children's activity sheets, some, some coloring sheets, some uh, word searches. They are also in this first point, first part of the PowerPoint. Uh, I've given you some Hanukkah songs with the music 
which you can either click on the links or download the music sheets and they are at the beginning or at the end of the presentation and then if you'd like to do some reading and research on this a friend of mine Sarah Wilson has written a lovely article I helped her with it and gave her some input and it's really for what does it mean for Christians today to celebrate Hanukkah so I'd recommend you to do some homework as well on that uh, for adults particularly to find out more about the festival. So these are the things that you need to celebrate Hanukkah in your home. Uh, let me come back to that. I hope you can see the screen okay. Uh, let me just uh, close the screen for me. And then uh, here's the recipe for the donuts. Uh, I didn't do it myself, so I, I'm not perfect on recipes, but uh, you should be able to download this or just read the PowerPoint and uh, make the delicious donuts. I've given you a recipe from my friend Geffen Ridley uh, for Moroccan Hanukkah donuts. That's Sephardi food, uh, a bit less greasy than Ashkenazi food. So it won't do too much harm to your cholesterol levels, but it might do a bit of harm, but they're delicious. And I've got my little Hanukkah donuts here just for the demonstration. Uh, also, I've given you the recipe for latkes. Uh, this is off the internet uh, and uh, you'll have to download this by going, clicking the link or clicking the picture that I've given you there. Latkes look like potato pancakes. And then uh, make your own dreidel. If you click on the picture or on the uh, YouTube link, you'll get an origami version of making a dreidel. I've got, you can buy them in Jewish shops. Uh, they're more like uh, plastic or metal dreidels or wood dreidels. But if you don't have those, you can make a dreidel quite easily with a few sheets of paper on origami. Then also uh, there's the dreidel game, how to play that. And uh, this will explain all the rules and uh, no cheating, please. Um, and I will go through that a bit later on as well. And then there's a Hanukkah word search for the children to find different words uh, that we use at Hanukkah time and uh, some colouring sheets. And if you'd like more materials, uh, please just send me a quick email and I'll find some more materials. There's lots on the internet already and it's a lot of fun. So that's uh, the instruction part and I'm going to uh, stop the video now and uh, just check that this is okay and post this on the YouTube channel before I begin the next part of the presentation. Thanks for watching so far.